Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Endless Legend where today I'm hoping we can get some kind of aggression started against Pink at the very least. You know, this distance is not that many turns for an army that has 8 points of movement and Chaka's got very low health right now, so I have some hope we could steal an Urken and then maybe, maybe make that work for us. Which Urken is this? Uh, plus initiative, plus science. Okay. Sort of just a generically good Urken. Uh, we also have our economy is, is going to be coming online pretty soon. We got this sewer under construction, which is obviously great news. Uh, actually, yeah, that sewer is going to be very helpful. So. Oh, and we're... Just a few turns out from an Empire plan. I think we're going to stick with just this. I know it's not a very compelling one, but there's no universe where we get to 300 influence. So, uh, Which is to say that we do, at this moment, have some bonus influence, but I guess we don't have really anything else to switch to. Because, right, all of the villages are overgrown. Because cause mushroom people... These are not fun guys. So... I kind of want to pull people back off of, like, we got stuff to do. Can we, can we pull back off without breaking things entirely? Yes. Okay. All right. Let's focus here. So let's go try to steal an Urken, shall we? What is this? Peace. Nothing grows in a Cold War. And yet... Well, I'm hopeful that the fact that they want peace means that they're not well suited for war at the moment. <laughs> that's, that's about all I got. Uh, yeah, just just try to get over here. We're going to disregard that offer. I am going to also disregard the fact that I have to research technology. Um, It feels like there's very little point in smelting station. Cargo docks is like, okay. Yeah. Dust refinery is useful. We, we actually can afford to build the, uh, the refineries and we will have an economy. Someday we'll be able to hire some heroes. If you can believe that. We're definitely playing from behind. I have, I have maneuvered us, maneuvered us into a pretty negative position here. Uh, Dearth of Dust. Cool. What an extremely good moment for that to occur. Now, see, the real danger is it's super hard for us to know if Chaka is attackable it's safely because we don't know. There could, there could be pink troops anywhere. Like, we know there's a pink army over here now. So it's very hard to know which tile might be safe to attack from. Ebatane 11... 92, 91, 82. What do my troops look like? Uh, less? Yeah, like a lot less. War is looking, um, not feasible. Maybe I should have just taken the piece, <laughs> honestly. God, I wish our only uh, watchtower wasn't here. <sighs> All right, let's see if let's see if we can push up to Chaka and make something happen here. Oh, it looks like they did in fact finish that building. That's wild. Their their stuff must be so good. Their their outputs must be so powerful. Uh, but look at how good my outputs are getting. Right? Damn it, did you get a louse? You sure did. Or rather, a unit of lice. I'm giving their units time to move around and go the places they're gonna go. Let's make sure we're just giving them time here. So, 
We never did deal with the minor faction in that region. Two turns off of having even more roads. Trade is just starting, so that's, I mean, it's got to get done. All right, I'm not 100% sure that it will let me attack from here because I'm standing in proper pink territory then while attacking their unit. But we know you can attack an Urken in a region that is only owned by that player because of the, the Urken. So I'm going to go here. And we're going to hope that there's not too much reinforcement. Uh, nope, of course there is. We just met somebody else, which seems unlikely. That's not what I meant. Sorry. Uh, show location. How did I, how did I met you? Boat? Oh, no, okay. The other Urken. All right. So, blue and purple are together over there. That looks like red. So, yeah, the Alagi having control of a bunch of the ocean makes sense because they start with uh, Shipyard. So... Verdecki with pretty good stats and Ibotain with much less good stats. An extraordinarily powerful hero. Yep, even relative to my hero. And the thing is, all we can do now is back off. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's the about the size of it there. Uh, over here in the capital, we can't get the Palladium to continue our faction quest. We can get military units we can build military units we can uh, upgrade our designs for military units i kind of wish there was a button that was just like jump stuff up to the next tier of whatever it's wearing so 27 13 12 versus 21 33 12 and the glass deal does have a lower cost Bring in one titanium per turn. We could go to titanium tier two axes instead, which is a big a big jump in actual numerical effectiveness. Doesn't give us the initiative, but it also doesn't cannibalize the resource that we're trying to use for our um. Uh, what do you call it for our? Actually, you know what? Let's just keep that at tier two because the hero is only two movement points faster than these things anyway. Uh, yeah, it doesn't cannibalize the resource we're going to use for our refineries. So, maybe that's a good build. And actually, we should probably, probably change you up too, right? So, 27-2-18 versus 27-3-8. 10 extra base damage is pretty good. And it's not that much titanium anyway. Uh, interesting that this is actually more expensive than the iron version. While two-handed weapon, two-handed strategic weapons are less expensive. I wonder if that's intended. Uh, oh, we can look at the Geomancer now too. We should probably do that. Hello, little friend. So, Geomancy. Generates temporary volcanic terrain at the beginning of each turn. Uh, and then it casts a buff on friendly units that gives them defense on most terrain, initiative on forests, or 20% attack on volcanic terrain. And it is, of course, worth remembering that all Kapaku units have plus 20% damage on volcanic terrain. So... Yeah, I can definitely see the value of having some of these fellas along with your army. Some of these little friends. Uh, also, exhaustion to lower enemy defense. It's a wild looking <laughs> piece of equipment. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, again, we'll go for the tier two version of the enhanced movement thing. This keeps all of our units, like, synced at the same movement speed. This 
So 2016-22 versus 15-2012. That's a big difference. We're starting to get into a lot of titanium here, though, which I do worry about. Also, I apologize if I sound stuffy. My allergies seemed to have ended for the season, and then uh, so I stopped taking my allergy pills, and then they came roaring back. Um, so I'm not feeling the most greatest that I have ever felt. That's a very expensive retrofit. Yeah, I guess let's just fall back to my territory. I think that's the sound of the Urken menacing me. Don't really appreciate that. The wines run out and cannot be rerun for some time, sadly. Booster cost 30. Fun. Come on, keep going. You want to just keep leaving the area. I'm doing it. Gimme. Give Gimme Give this Urken. Okay, they're still in the area. Well, we'll fight them then. All right. I do not have the initiative advantage. So. Put ourselves in position to potentially... I'd like to be able to push up and, and challenge their um, reinforcement flags. You have three move. One, two, three. Yeah, this does make it more possible for you to challenge my ranged units than I would like. Okay. They chose not to bring in the reinforcements. Interesting. Okay, well you're a melee Urken. So I'm gonna do this. Let's try to focus on these, aha. Uh -huh. And if I hadn't moved the range, the lice totally would have gotten to them. Ow! Oh, no, you totally are. Why did I think you weren't ranged? I just clicked on you and looked, and I was like, no range. But nope, there it is. Probably I was looking for the word range right here and not long range. Well, that hurt a lot more than I was expecting it to, if I'm honest. Okay. We did, in the end, only lose one unit. I'm really surprised they chose not to challenge me on that. So, can I take my, my Chaka over to Zoparusk? Like migrate to right here. And then fall back. <laughs> okay, so Chaka is currently providing bonus only to Marabond because Marabond wraps around Zoparusk in this way, which is not ideal. But at least it's a bonus instead of a penalty, and then we can hopefully get Chaka to build up some actual health. Yeah, one hopes. So we'll get another unit to replace our lost unit. And then we can start thinking about that. And we gotta deal with these. We gotta deal with these villages, right? Alright, so let's get our trade routes up and running. Cool, all my trade routes are up, so my my dust deficit is greater than before. It probably hasn't recalculated. Alright, yeah, we're gonna come down here and deal with this problem. This I accept. Did that actually happen? You also want peace. You know what? 
I make a great friend. Everybody's always saying that. Alright, so next turn you can join up. How close are you to leveling? Is there a way for me to actually even... Here we go. Okay, 5 of 80. <laughs> so there's no point in including it in this battle. Okay, there we go. We're at minus 2. Minus 2 is better. Gosh, this city is completely underdeveloped. Okay, well... Let's try to get these buildings built. Let's get the seed storage done before any starvation occurs. That's good. <laughs> it's a low bar for good, but, you know. Uh, we are unfortunately in a position where we must take what we can get. Including leaving you people on dust output. I forgot there was a whole city on dust output, but we really cannot afford to change that. Well, at this point, Bread and Circuses is probably worth considering at least how much. I'm suffering 40 expansion disapproval, so that'll be plus 10 approval per city by itself. It's something, you know? Is that both of them saying something about common friends? Nope. Uh, I've goaded you into anger. The queen is aware that we have common friends. Okay, apparently I have common friends with you. Uh, the next era just began and we were not ready for it. The Mykera have taken the benevolent emperor. How dare they? Alright, I'm going to manual this just so that the low health stone sentinel doesn't die somehow. The hero can get pasted, that's fine, I don't care about that. Okay, yeah, this is okay. You are... do not move. Everybody else? Yeah, pretty much just charge. Okay, this should be pretty straightforward from here. Terrible, terrible time for Dearth of Dust. Just absolutely brutal. The thing is, the other cities are not even going to be able to build this in any, like, reasonable amount of time. Uh, we're in a lot of trouble. We're in a lot of trouble. Chaka, I need you to heal up quickly. We're gonna <laughs> we're going to need your violence. Okay, that's pretty irrelevant. City jumped up to happy. Lovely. Yeah, Jesus. Uh we can try to set up a golem camp. There's not even really... Like, this is fine, I suppose. Does the Golem Camp impose... It does not impose a happiness penalty. So actually putting it down right here is not bad. Okay. 14 turns. No big deal. And it's not like we're going to have the money to buy anything out ever. They wanted gold, which we cannot give them. Or dust, which we cannot give them. 
Oh, hey, we have like vastly superior positioning on this one. You two, you two can just live over here. Why are you running away from... Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. We have stone sentinels. That's pretty rough for them, only having one tile in their deployment zone. It's not really... Not really the way you want that to go. Uh, and then we're going to put that in the queue as well. But I... Guess we should get it done first. It is it is constructing a point of population, so it is valuable. Well, let's go get this one knocked out as well. Please let bread and circuses be enough to fix my dust problem. No, things got worse. Somehow. I mean, when the capital's when the capital's refinery is finished, uh, it's gonna be a big deal. Thinking about it. Okay, I have no problem believing that your empire is greater than mine at the very least. So, sure, I buy it. I buy it. Uh, what did you want? You wanted us to colonize your region, and the thing is, we're totally going to eventually probably I really don't think I should expand again right now though yeah let's just knock it out uh, you should be able to participate at zero risk It's nice to have an initiative advantage over everything we fight. It's very helpful. And you have four tile range, so you can just go here and work the work the angles from there. Okay. And this village is already pacified, right? We, uh, yep, we made friends with them. Okay. Huh. <sighs> I am trying. I am trying with these people. They do not make it easy. I do feel like we got a pretty bad set of minor faction requests and stuff this time out. Uh, we are absolutely going to attack that army in the middle of our territory with all this all this potential backup. I mean, we can look at this and we can know the number that it says for military strength, but we can't know how their military strength is distributed spatially because we're not going to have to fight the whole 11,000, right? With a one city faction, one decisive battle ends them. So it's just a matter of whether we can make ourselves powerful enough to take the city in a sort of a lightning uh, lightning assault. And it would help if there were fewer units around, for sure. And it's going to be really expensive to declare war on them if we take peace. Okay. So, what is next? We're not actually going to do any siege damage to them, or at least not very much. Probably do like a turn of siege damage before we attack. So what do we need next? Do we still need stuff from earlier eras, maybe? Is there early era stuff that would be very helpful? Um, I don't know that we really do need the Golem Riders, the way things are shaping up. The answer might be no. We could take Pillage, but Pillage doesn't work on my Kara stuff anyway, right? 
Um, we can't build a lot of the more interesting buildings of this era. I mean, we do have one deposit. We should probably get smelting station. Where was that again? Okay, out in Vedra. Jeez. I should get ships. Although at this point, this thing's going to have real defenses, so it's not going to be totally trivial to take it. Well, okay. Like I said, let's stick to the plan. Let's go and harass this army as quickly as we can. My guess is that they will retreat. If it's the same three units we saw before. Well, no, it's not really. They upgraded that Ipatain from 3 to 14. Do I think I would beat you? Now I'm having a concern. Uh, yeah, damage on hero. We can uproot Chaka and bring Chaka in to help. I'm actually going to do that because I'm concerned that we don't present a dangerous enough force otherwise. Also, how much movement do you have? Damn. Okay, so I get multiple city garrisons and my and my Urken. Uh, let's say we go like that. So I don't really want to put the Urken up until, you know, with them having ranged units and everything. They actually want to do it. All right. That makes me nervous. The AI is, like, pretty good at math. It's not, you know, flawless, obviously. Uh, most of the combat takes place on terrain that is favorable to us. Remember, only uh, only the actual... Um, only the actual Kapaku units have the volcanic fire, not just any units under our control, so the, the uh, orcs do not benefit. You have four movement and three range. I cannot realistically hide anything from you. Okay, yeah. This is how we're going to do it. All right, have the anti-cav troops try to focus on the cav. The melee troops try to swarm their ranged. And the archers also focus on their ranged. Their cav don't have a ton of armor. Or a ton of defense, rather. Gosh, we're squishy, though. Yeah, focus on the cavalry unit. It's the one that I think is most dangerous. Okay, that's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Huh. That went a little more harshly than I thought it would, though. Okay, that's good. We're gonna get some good uh, some good morale penalties out of those those movements there. I like a lot of what I am seeing here. What I was really trying to do was construct a situation where they would just run away. We we would get basically like a free a free chunk out of their army. They really wanted to go all the way to the mat on this one. Damn it. Every unit we actually lose is costly. Damage is nothing, but, but actual deaths are certainly a problem. Okay, I think you're dead before you get to attack again. Unless I do zero with all my units. Well, whatever. That was a militia. That's not a real death. So, a stone sentinel down. That is a shame. Uh, we definitely killed superior value worth of units still, but... 
We're behind enough that we feel every loss in a pretty serious way. Now you can't, yeah, you can't resettle until next turn, but that was helpful. Okay, so we're finishing important buildings. Why are we so broke? I mean, we need to get the dust refinery done next turn. That's not actually optional. Yeah, what the hell happened? How did my dust per turn drop by 40 points without anything changing? Okay, there we go, Jesus. So it appears to be related to the Urken. I thought all you were doing was giving us science. Urken's under your control of plus five vision. Yeah, it shouldn't be related to the Urken. Hmm. I don't know. That's a terrible deal. I have a counter proposal. You give me 20 Palladian. Okay. They wouldn't even they wouldn't even do it for two technologies. Well, in terms of influence output, I can't afford to do that. So But have you considered you are definitely just being difficult for no reason? And see, on their side of the border, there is a watchtower right at the edge. So they can see what I'm doing, but I can't see what they're doing, which is very annoying. Uh, does it make sense here to try to get a golem camp up? Not really, right? Because this whole this whole region is garbage. Well, eleven, twelve, and dust. Once the dust the the dearth of dust wears off, is that's not that bad actually. Uh, in Vedra, I'm sure there is a spot where a golem can't make sense. There's a couple of 13 sevens over here. Okay, yeah. Let's just get some golem camps done on like turn 80. I think, I think I... I think I should have gone for the sea. I think I made a... I was a little focused on what was going on on land. I didn't settle us into the ocean enough. And we probably are missing out. Like It's hard to know exactly because we haven't scouted our nearby ocean regions. So we don't, we don't know what facilities we don't have. But like we can see Hyperium over there. That would be helpful if only for do trade value. Yeah, I feel like I just, I just like donked this opening really badly. Okay, dust production returns to normal. What's your deal? You're at war with the Alayi, so there's a chance this could, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not take this. Feels like there's a chance that could annoy a player who is more powerful than I am, and I don't have a lot of interest in doing that right now. Okay, now here, I know we had talked about, like, this. That's not bad. We can just expand the city down toward that. So I think I like this better. 
All of these cities are about to get so much more powerful. And when I say about to, I mean on turn 75. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little slow is the thing. Show me the banner for your city. Seven units, 290 fortification. Okay. Well, that's not realistically uh, very fightable for me at the moment. 290 fortification? I do 28 fortification damage per turn. Because, <laughs> like, it, the approach is going to be something like this, right? We wait for them to play out a whole turn. Then after they've committed all their units for the turn, we move in, hit siege. We get one turn of proper siege damage, and then at the beginning of the next turn, before they can move anything into reinforcement position, we attack them. Uh, by the way, that's a green player border there. Did not notice that until just now. Roving clan. Okay, interesting. Um, so, we'll get a turn of siege damage, and then we're going to have to just deal with the amount of fortification that is left across all of their units. Right now, that's going to be like 1,600 total HP on top of the HP of the units that they currently have, and that's not a thing we can fight through. And we can't move up to the next level of strategic weaponry because we don't have any strategics in all of our territory. We might just be, like, literally unable to fight them. Like, ever, potentially? I don't, like... This situation's very bad. I know that sounds extreme, but I, I'm not convinced that it's wrong. So, hmm. How do I... How do I fix this? How do I... What, what, what do I do? What do I do here? How do I turn this into a win? I'm not going to lie. Part of me is feeling a little hopeless. Part of me is feeling like the answer to that question is start a new game. But... And I might well if I were playing myself. Um, there's definitely some value in playing out a losing game and learning what we can learn from the, from the loss. So maybe that's where I'm at. Hmm. Alright, the oceans are owned by red and green. I'm sure all this stuff's gonna get flipped over real soon. How do I... Okay, lice are being born. That's very helpful. And Chaka's stats are really good. How do we get ourselves to the point where we can actually push through this city's defenses? Um, obviously, it would help if I had reinforcements, like a full army of units and then also more units would be good. Um, but where am I going to get the time and resources to build all that? We could try to build a Guardian of Dust and use their units against them. That feels like desperation. But I feel pretty desperate. Yeah, this is not a kind of thing I ordinarily do. So, um, we haven't played with Guardians at all here. Uh, just to clarify, the technology gives us authorization to own one Guardian in addition to giving us the ability to build this unit. Um, so, we, the fact that we research this does not mean we get to just spam out a ton of them. We get a Guardian. Each Guardian technology you research gives you one more slot, one more authorization. Yeah, we'll just we'll build a Dust Guardian and we'll we'll bring bring in a full army and then on the first turn in the reinforcement pads, Chaka plus Dust Guardian. And whew, fingers crossed. It could work. It could work. Especially if Pink's army is elsewhere, if they get distracted, if they end up at war with uh, Green for whatever reason. Like, there, there are versions of this that, that totally function. Um, and we're going to be able to actually do our retrofits and get Makani some new gear as well, now that the roads and the roads and the refineries are up, and also 
um, Dearth of Dust has ended. So, what do I want to do with this army in the uh, in the interim? I guess the answer is I want to I want to uncapture villages. Probably, right? Yeah, cuz like these should be mine. You are not allowed to have these. And they're going to they're going to grouse about that. So yeah, maybe 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 this is still doable. I as we have discussed recently, in fact, I definitely have a tendency to go to the hopeless place, uh, even when it is not necessarily the appropriate place to be. Let's just merge up onto you. Yeah, I didn't say stop burning that. Nah, I'm good. The fact that they keep ask asking for peace is really kind of freaking me out. I don't know why they're being like this. It's unusual in my experience. All right, we're gonna do that. Would a watchtower have been one turn? Like if I did want to do this, no. Okay. Then never mind. Just get the glass silk extractor. And we certainly don't need that second glass silk extractor, but it's something we can do for the turn until the Skoros research finishes. We definitely also got hamstrung very badly by having the Mykera as a neighbor. Like they were able to do a lot of economic damage to us sort of incidentally. Uh, it did not cost them any resources to do so. And in fact, it was economically the right play for them in every case. So um, if we did end up playing another game and that didn't happen, that would certainly help. Uh, there is a Guardian roaming in Silali. Silali, is that a region that we know this game? I don't think it is. Yeah, alright, that's somebody else's problem and also reward. Okay, let's talk about Ascoros. Hello, Ascoros. Look at him. Adorable. Uh, I can't help myself. I just want to climb him and, f like, stab the glowing weak points, you know? All right, so what do we have here? Your standard Scepter of Speed, which gives the acceleration trait, allows you to double the movement of a friendly unit for three turns. Do not ever cast this, because your attack has mind control on it. And it says 50%, and we have seen that in the AI's hands, that it, that's a 50 that trends a little high. Uh, 100 attack, 42 initiative, 30 damage. So, like, hugely better. Adds adds a bit of cost. But yeah, hugely better, and we can afford it. Uh, this gives you Intimidation Aura, which makes units adjacent lose initiative. That doesn't seem like a good use of resources. This gives you Shared Wisdom, which, um... Increases the morale of adjacent units. We can afford that. What is the cost of it? 60 more industries. Kind of a bummer. We don't have enough for glory or death. So, okay. Yeah. That's my guardian. It's going to take nine turns to build this guardian. Uh, and you have to build a guardian on the map as a district. So in theory, like, people nearby could, could see it happening. Okay, first time we've done this, this will be interesting. That gives you that long to heal up, and the other cities will not be getting anything else really done, because they're all... Okay, you're going to build your golem camp pretty quickly, actually. We might be able to build another military unit or two out of some other city. And while all this is going on, 
uh, give me access to the resources and stockpiles area of the marketplace, please. Ah, I spent a lot of titanium. I sure did. Yep, that's fair. Okay. Um, should also upgrade Makani's deal. Do I want Makani to have a shield on? Oh, I used one. It cost one point of adamantium too many to get this to get our fancy cooking pot. Well, at the very least, we want to go to like Great Big Hammer. Thirty-six twenty-eight minus sixteen versus twenty-seven twenty-four plus twelve. Effectively, you know, bonus initiative on stun, pretty valuable actually. And since we're doing that, I will give you sharp sense as well, because you're losing your shield. And we're going to be fighting a ranged opponent. So, the retrofits will, will take us eight turns worth of income to be able to afford. Uh, but we're going to have access to the marketplace. Things are going to be a little bit less obvious by the time that happens, so I guess we'll see. We're going to be doing a lot of passing the turn here. And we could be buying heroes, potentially with this dust. Maybe a spy to do spying things. That'd be cool. Um, this is a terrible deal. What is wrong with you? All right, so when I do that, when I burn off the Mykera stuff, it just becomes my pacified village, right? I don't have to rebuild it. At least I hope. We can go burn this out and try to get our own extractor down, but I believe the extractors take even longer than the villages to fix. We should go lay down a volcano farmer over here too. Uh, the Alaya are fighting other players. That's fine. Okay, detection range bonus removed. Still not interested. Oh, I just barely can't get over there in one. All right, out of curiosity, how does this work? Like, I'm going to go start the fire here. And then we're going to next turn walk away but then before the end of the turn come back and start burning i hope that that won't that my progress won't be lost because we can get these villages flipped before the um before the plan comes to fruition okay so here comes the money let's figure out what we want to do with it if there is wine available on the market obviously it'd be very beneficial for us to buy the little bit of wine we need uh, we can also buy a little bit of titanium for to start building or rather to um to perform our retrofit grand cleric akuma is gonna get us some science that we don't at this moment desperately need uh okay that Quest is something we will not be participating in. There is enough wine. It's expensive, but it's also for sure worth it. That's a big deal there. I mean, hell, the, the extra dust from the happiness jump alone, we'll pay that off. Okay, yep, somebody did the did the other quest already. That's fine. Must have spawned quite close to somebody's armies. Uh, it's not really anything else here that we're likely to buy. We can buy military units potentially if we want. Um, but I have to I'd have to imagine at this point we're better off buying heroes. There is a, a Morgar. No, uh, no forgotten, but Morgars have spying three on account of, you know, the mind control. So they're still pretty good spies. 
they don't quite have the um, the same tree benefits. But the really important spying bonus, the uh, the bonus infiltration points per turn, is in the middle common tree, so everybody has access to it. Uh, okay. What now? What do we need now? What will we even benefit from now? Maybe like Glory of Empire? Pillage isn't going to do anything. Aquapulvistics is not... It's not going to really help. Um... We're not going to be able to make any new weapons or armor. You can only build magma hydraulics on an exploited lava flow tile. We do not have any lava flows. You can see there are also special lava boots that, you know, they do other stuff. They're not just for walking on lava, but not terribly meaningful to us. Um, this is this is a thing that any faction can potentially benefit quite a bit from because as you can see the uh, the upgrade to your lava flow tiles is quite large so if you built a city alongside a lava river it's a big deal and because lava flows tend to occur in volcanic terrain uh, the Kapaku tend to want to do this but we did not get lucky in that way like <laughs> as with so many other things not, not really a lot of luck going around for us today you know what give me highway optics or outposts, because lookout towers have five vision. These ones only have three, right? Yeah. With five vision, one, two, three, four, five. That's the tile, right? That's the home tile? No, that's a district. Where's, which one's the city center? This one's the city center. One, two, three, four, five. I, actually, actually relevant. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, I think rather than building military units up here, I'm just going to dust refinery. It would be like a military unit, and it might make a difference. It totally might, but I doubt it. Wow, that's an expensive volcano former. Um, you know what? I'm going to make it out of this. We're just going to run down here. Drop that thing off. Yeah, it's a it's not a big difference. It may not be a big enough difference to warrant the resources we spent on it. Okay, yeah, we did not we did not lose our progress. I know if you stop disposing and you walk away, they do they do regenerate, like you do it it is a thing that does happen, so good to see that it did not happen here. Oh, and all of the little golem camps. We're going to have so much stuff. So many points of resources coming in. This is a place where a, um, a volcano farmer would certainly be helpful. Oh. Huh. Pink bought Green City or went to war with Green. I guess we haven't met Green yet, so I can't ask. Well, now that's interesting. Uh, I don't think it changes anything. Like that city will not will not sustain their empire on its own. We do have to. It, it is still the case that if we take this, they immediately lose. So we're just gonna keep on with the plan. Gosh, I hope that this this guardian is enough. How's Chaka doing? Okay, Chaka's getting there. Another lice spawn before the war would be uh, very helpful. And we are in hero territory. So shall we buy a hero? Uh, there's some good stuff here. There's a Tinu. It's not the best of the, the cultists, but certainly not bad. There's, of course, a Soyala Tocho. John Port's not a bad one. Um, we don't have river terrain, but obviously we do have dust terrain. And then this region does have titanium and glass steel, doesn't it? Uh, no, just titanium. 
but still an increase in our titanium uh, output rate would be useful. Although obviously it will not be firing immediately. Uh, these two are both just worse than John Port. The archivist would be okay. Yeah, it's probably it's probably Tinu versus Sayala Tojo versus John Port for governing. And I don't really know. I don't really know who it's going to be. I'm looking at the stats on these mercenaries real quick, and it looks to me like they're all pretty not that impressive. Certainly not impressive enough to spend money on. Uh, we can buy a bit of titanium, but doing so is very expensive, so we should probably try not to need it. Let's, um... In terms of combat stats... John Port is probably the best of them, although none of them are great. Oh, the Sayala Tocho is level four. You know what? I think that may be enough to seal it up, actually. Oh, you're more expensive, though. Next turn. Next turn. 16. Come on. Come on now. How much money are we making on our trade routes? Okay. Oh, there's not enough grass silk on the market for me to buy myself to a booster anyway. Well, then I'm just going to sell the grass silk. And we're going to buy the damn hero. And I'm going to put him down right here, I think. Is this territory still considered? Well, actually, none of it, none of it's forested. Never mind. Although, actually, I don't think I'm in forest pretty much anywhere. You know, volcanic forest, it's a little... All right, you are going here, though. It's fine. We won't get any benefit from this skill point. We will still get plenty from that and that and all the other stuff. Whew. All right. And, you know, just in Industry Boost 2. Industry Boost 2 is good. Uh, so winter could start any moment now. Let's jam through some of these basic buildings. I'm not going to build a seed storage just yet. That's an offer of peace that I am not taking. And we are, in fact, pushing bravely toward a 300 influence empire plan here. We need three more techs? Yeah. Hmm. The oceans are at this point of pretty limited value. We can, of course, build more science buildings. Although right now our cities are pretty small. So this technology is of uh, limited, perhaps, limited value. I think we may actually be in a kind of a glory of empire place. Ships I don't think are necessarily big value. The cargo docks will be, but they're not, like, immediately. Yeah, give me glory of empire. Like, we have a place where we can build a cargo dock. Yeah. All right, I'm sticking to the plan here. All uh, right, you're free. We're not going to be able to free this in time, but we can come up here and be working on this village. What would it take us to burn out this extractor? Because the wine's pretty important. Let's see. This city is too small and too unproductive to realistically build a dust refinery anytime soon. But I guess we do need to get that adamantine extractor up. 
I'm just looking around and thinking about like, oh, y'all don't need to be doing this. Thinking about where we can put some extra juice into our influence so that we can hit our 300 influence empire plan, but also have enough for a war deck. And I guess that's gonna do it. Our research rate's pretty solid, but our well, we're way behind technologically and we're not catching up at three turns per research probably. We're probably just like keeping pace with some of the other players, probably not like the hard science players even. So, you know, it's not ideal. A lot of stuff about this situation is not ideal. I'll keep building. The money's coming in. Gosh, I love the part of the game where your economy gets solid enough that the money's coming in and you don't have to, like, keep pulling people off of actual work to focus on that. We can get this gold income as well. I should maybe have just burned this away. I wasn't really thinking about doing um, about doing luxury extractors. I was coming up here to, to free the village. And then I realized that this was like uh, available and easy. Okay, you are really tearing through the projects here, which I appreciate a tremendous amount. Um, I guess get that seed storage done. We'll see. Maybe Maybe it does end up being relevant. You know, it could be 15 more turns until winter. Now that I've said that, it will be next turn. But, in theory, it could be 15 more turns. And here comes our guardian. Chaka did spawn another group of lice. We got spied. Pink has decreased diplomatic cost on us. Interesting. Okay. So, we have retrofit resources. We have a, an army that's as up-to-date as we can do. We have... We have a Guardian. We have a Chaka. A Chaka who's essentially at full health. Pretty much full health. Uh, they would like to pay me a very small amount for peace, an amount that does not matter at all. Uh, right, the thing has happened, because somebody built a Guardian, so now the Guardian Slaying unit is potentially in play. And I think we have some interesting questions to ask ourselves at this time. Uh, but right here, right here I think is where we're going to call the episode for today. First, let us marvel at our various kaiju. And then, yeah, that is where we're going to call it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. When you come back next time, we are going to turn the awesome might of this army upon Pink's considerably more awesome city. And if we can't take it from them, I think we're probably just out of this game anyway on, on raw economics. So may, maybe we'll be starting a new one and trying to play the opening a little tighter. And we'll see you then.